Green Bay doing a little pre-fishing for tournament I got next weekend. Um, we're in about uh, anywhere from 10 to 13 feet of water trolling. You got two flicker sheds, two husky jerks, and two flicker minnows out right now. I'm thinking it's gonna be flicker sheds and flicker minnows, but I figured I'd put out two husky jerks. Maybe uh, maybe they'll trigger a bigger one to bite. But these are post-spawn fish. Just trying to find some shad in the sand, uh, you know, in this medium medium depth here in 10 to 12 feet. I don't, I don't think they're out in the mud yet, but I still think they are definitely the river bite has um, not come and gone, but it's definitely not at its peak, especially down in the Fox River. I think that probably peaked uh, last weekend or even two weeks ago. So anyway, we're doing a little pre-fishing today. Uh, probably much doing all trolling. If we really find a school of them and we're starting to hit them in one spot, we might go with the live scope and try and cast, but probably gonna be trolling all day and hopefully we can get a few wise. Uh, and hopefully we can get a good combination of size and numbers. Maybe even a couple pike too. Alrighty, just started our second pass. We got the first fish pretty much instantly. Hopefully we can bolt this one. Looking, feeling pretty nice, or at least it's looking like it is, huh? Yeah, it feels good. Sweet. Stand down like a walleye. Oh, it's a big pike, dude. It's a big pike. Oh, dude, that's a tank. All right, well, there he is. He's probably. That's gotta be a 36, 37 inch pike. Just a freaking awesome fish. I don't know why a bunch of walleye fishermen always feel the need to publicly shame. Here, get, get so I can get the light on it. Publicly shame pike. I mean, they're bigger than walleyes, they fight harder, and honestly, they taste better. So I have no problem catching them like that, especially when they're that kind of size. That is an awesome fish. Get them on the bump board and get them back. Alrighty, there it is. 36 inch pike going back. Perfect. Put it there, Heath. All right, now let's go get some walleyes. All right, second fish of the day. It's been a grind. We've missed one other fish so far. Feels like another nice fish. Um, I hope it's a walleye, but again, I'm, I'm not gonna be upset about a pike, especially the way today's been going. Nice fish, whatever it is, pike or walleye. If it's a pike, I don't think it's gonna be 36 inches, but. Stand down. Ooh, please be a big walleye. Ooh, if it's a walleye, it's big. It's another pike. It's a nice pike though, God. Like I said, we were walleye fishing today, but if we keep catching pike like this, you'll see no complaints out of me whatsoever. Just hammered that, inhaled that rip and wrap. I mean, that's probably pull spawn again, but that's probably not a 34, 35 inch pike. Like I said, every, every walleye fisherman just seems the need, feels the need to bash these fish, but I'll tell you what, I do not envy a fisherman that cannot appreciate a fish like that. Just a freaking awesome fish. We'll get this guy on the bump board and get him back. Oh yeah. All right, here he is going on the bump board. Uh, only about uh, 32, I thought he was a little bigger. He's so skinny, it's kind of hard to judge, but either way, God, there's nothing wrong with that fish whatsoever. We're gonna get him back, and if we just keep on getting a pike or two in these mid to upper 30s every pass, again, you'll see no, there he goes. No complaints out of me for that fish. 
making us work for him today, but we just got our third fish of the day as you're setting up for this pass. It's not going crazy, so we're hoping there's a good chance of a walleye. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's easy though. Get him in. Oh, boom, another big pike. Let's go. And there he is, our third big pike of the day. I mean, again, these are all post spawn, so they're about as skinny as you'll ever see them. But again, just another really nice pike. We're gonna get a measurement on them quick. Thanks. Go forward real quick. Definitely that 30. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, just over 33 on the bump board. Another really nice freaking pike, you guys. We're kind of chalking this up as a pike fishing day. Um, we came out here to catch walleyes, but that didn't work out. Just tough conditions. Not a cloud in the sky, almost dead calm. But you know what, I'm not upset because these are some really nice pike and we don't get a chance to catch these mid-30s pike all the time, you know, on a lot of lakes around here. So, gonna get this guy back and then hopefully go get another one even. All right, there she goes. Oh, it's all beat up from the spawn, you can tell. Yep. Well, the uh, trolling motor died, so we're with the kicker now. And you're with the kicker in that last one bit. But anyway, today, and you know, this is kind of the case with all trolling. It's kind of weird, and you got to kind of figure it out. But we've had four bites, and they've all been trolling north. We've seen two other fish get caught, and both of those are heading north. So it's just one of those days where you kind of start to figure it out at the end where, you know, if we take another pass, we're probably just going to go down to the north end of this bay here, power back to the south end, and then troll back up north. Um, but that's just trolling in general. It's not, we're, we're, sometimes you like to go into the wind, but we're even a little more with the wind going north than we are going south. So, um, I don't know, it's kind of one of those things you gotta figure out. Sometimes you get them going west, sometimes you get them going east, north, south, into the wind, with the wind. Uh, it's tough to say, but today the bite's definitely been just going straight north. And you'd think, uh, cause like I say, we chalked this up as a pike fishing day now, but you'd think pike wouldn't matter so much like they do with salmon or walleyes, but today that's definitely been the difference. So you gotta pay attention to those little details, um, put more fish in your boat. Alrighty, fourth one of the day. Took the board back pretty good, so we're hoping it's a big one. Uh, doesn't feel huge. Could be a walleye. We just got a little more chop here. Uh, the wind just picked up, so I wouldn't be surprised if all of a sudden a walleye started biting. Um, I'd be freaking pumped about a walleye, but again, you know, at this point we're pretty much just considering this pike fishing and a walleye's opponent, so uh, it is a nice fish, whatever it is. So, gonna get this guy in hopefully and. Show him to the camera once you get him in. Oh, he's took a little run. Yeah, it, I'm assuming based on the way this thing's fighting, it is definitely a pike. But, it, I mean, it could be a walleye. There are plenty of big, I mean, this is probably about what an upper, upper 20s walleye would fight like, and there's plenty of those in here, so. We'll see, it's exciting. Now, every time we got a big fish on, it's exciting. It's a walleye. Yeah, is it? it's a walleye. Ooh, it's a nice walleye. Well, update, that was our first really nice walleye of the day. I'm assuming he was about 26, 27 inches. Really nice fish. Like I said, the wind picked up and we were thinking that maybe they would start biting, and they did, right when that wind started picking up. In case you're wondering what happens when you lose a really big walleye when you've been fishing all day, that's what happens. You slam your rod, and you don't really think about the boat that's right underneath of it. So now I'm down a trolling rod, and I'm down a really big walleye, so. Kind of down pretty bad right now, but you know what? We're gonna get this get this bait out again, and hopefully, uh, hopefully the walleyes do start picking up here in the wind. We can pick one up yet. But damn it, that sucks. Oh, we were going for walleyes all day, and it was a nice one too. I was thinking that that would probably have been, yeah, probably 26, 27 at least. It was it was a nice fish, but um, the ro towing rod that that is on me. I gotta freaking not do that. I did not. Was not thinking my 
the line, he was pulling hard, I was pulling up, he snapped, and I just went straight down with it, and boom, now I'm on a trolling rod. But oh well, we're gonna get this, this gold and golden purple flicker minnow back out there, and hopefully we can get another one. Well, we're reeling in all the lines now, um, just because all of our bites have been going from south to north, so we're not even gonna screw with trolling back to the south end of this bay. We're just gonna power down there and troll back up north. Uh, turns out we were carrying this little perch this whole time in the flicker minnow. It's a, uh, it's not a replacement for that big walleye, but I guess, I guess it makes it feel about one percent better. That's about it. But anyway, I'm gonna get this little perch back. The season's actually closed on these guys, but you can see this is probably a post-spawn female too. Big dent in the belly. Is it on? Yep, we got another one on here. Hopefully, we get some redemption. We get back to the. The south end of this bay, we don't even get all the lines out, and we got another nice fish on, so. Hopefully it's another nice, it's it's a big fish, dude. It's but I said this last time, I said last time I think that uh, the last one was too big to be a walleye. It ended up being a really big walleye, but this is feeling it's either going to be a big walleye or another nice pike. Like I said, we didn't even get all the lines in the water. The wind is now picking up, which is, makes me think that it could be a walleye. As soon as the wind picked up, we got that other walleye, and now we started another pass. It's a nice fish, whatever it is, no doubt. I'm hoping with the wind picking up, these walleyes start to turn on. Dude. Stay at the center right there, perfect. Staying down. Got big hope. I think it's a pike, I think they're a great look at it. Pike, it's a big pike. Big, whatever it is. It's a big wall. Oh, it is a big walleye. Yep. Yep, big walleye. Come on. Yes! Hey, there we Let's go. go! Oh, that's redemption. Big freaking walleye. Oh, he just popped off. Oh my god! Oh my god! We fished probably 20 hours in the last two days looking for this fish. Juan just touched the motor to it. Yeah. We fished 20 hours in the last two days. And it's been really freaking tough. Oh my god! Is that the wind picks up and these big walleyes start munching? Oh, that's a nice fish. Holy buckets, oh you my, guys! Yeah. That's a freaking nice walleye. That's upper 20s. The wind just starts picking up. The walleye start biting. We just missed a big one, but oh, that's a nice fish. We're gonna get them on the bump board. We're gonna straighten this out a little bit. Oh, I can't even describe it. I mean, some days you're getting one after another in the river and you lose a big one and it doesn't mean anything, but on tough days, tough conditions, when you gotta work really hard for a bite, you lose a big one, it's tough. And then, but when you get one, it's rewarding. No doubt a post-spawn fish. We're gonna get them on the bump board quick. Almost 29. 29 inches, you guys. Hits just under that 29. Holy buckets. That is freaking awesome. That just makes the day right there. All right, this big girl's going back. Just got some pictures with her. I said, this, uh, on a day like today where the bite's tough, these are some rewarding fish. There she goes. Boom! Let's go. The wind's picking up. Maybe we might get a couple more walleyes with these pike, but that fish makes the day right there. Well, all right. That uh, walleye ended up being the last one that we caught for the day. Um, we only had one walleye, which on the surface doesn't really seem like a good day on Green Bay, but when it's that, anytime you get a fish of that quality, that's a really good day to me. And you know, just from a pure fishing standpoint, I love Northern. So we, we boated three really nice pike today. We lost one nice walleye. We had a great day in my opinion. Anytime you can put a 36 inch pike and a 29 inch walleye in the boat in one day, that's a pretty damn good day. Um, the quality of fish we have here in the bay is uh, it's tough to beat. You know, as long as we take care of it, it should be around for a long time. It's a really healthy fishery right now. So everybody respects it and takes care of it. We should have it around for a long time. But like I said, 
Caught, boated four fish. They're all really nice fish. It was a tough conditions, clear skies, um, not much of a chop until the very end when we got those two walleyes to bite. But uh, tough conditions, we really had to work hard for them, and it was a pretty rewarding day. So we had a great day, and next weekend I got a tournament, so hopefully we can uh, keep the ball rolling.